And, oh, right on cue, here comes the train. Hello, Mr. Train. Let's see. Whoa. What the? Where'd my tank go? Hello, YouTube. Kubota Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Brick Rigs. And today, folks, we are back to building. I've got a pretty big challenge ahead of me here. I've built a Tiger Tank, and if a lot of you don't know what a Tiger Tank is, it is a old German World War II tank. It is not an exact replica, but I'm really proud of it, and it's my first tank here in Brick Rigs. So, the time lapse is going to happen here. It ends right around the four minute mark. If you want to skip the time lapse, you don't want to see it. It is a little messier than normal, and it's a little faster time lapse, as you can see, because this build took me probably right around two hours. But anyways, folks, hopefully you enjoy the time lapse, and we'll see you on the other side. All right, so I'm actually fairly proud of this. I do apologize if the time lapse is a little choppy. This took a little bit longer than I thought it was going to. Uh, this is my replica of a Tiger Tank, and when I say replica, I use those words very, very loosely. I know it's not perfect, but for my first attempt, I think this actually came out really nice. It's got some nice angles on it. Now, of course, Brick Rigs does not have treads, and if they ever put treads in the game, that would be absolutely amazing. So what I did here, I used some of the big wheels on the ends, and then I used these uh, layer of the small wheels. And for decoration, and I haven't seen many uh, tanks do this in the workshop, if any, I, I don't really recall any doing this. I used the uh, railroad parts. It's the little, uh, I don't know what they're called, it's like the wheels for them. And I put those up there, so say if there was tracks actually going over those, that would actually look really pretty cool. So I think it's time to go blow some stuff up. 
As many of you could have guessed it, I did build it backwards. I have a horrible habit of doing that with some of my creations. Uh, when you're building in the garage, you want to be staring towards the garage door, so it's okay. It does back out. As you can see, the wheels turn uh, only... Actually, it's a little more than half of them turn. Now, if I could change one thing, and I don't think you can do this, I'd like to grab a group of parts. I'd like to move the gun turret back maybe one or two pegs, but other than that, pretty happy. So, let's see how she handles. This thing is beefy. Uh, I am really happy about that. I actually used a tank, and I'll pull it out here in a second off the workshop to kind of figure out how to make the turret uh, rotate and the gun and all that to go up and down. I was a little concerned about doing that. I haven't really played with actuators that much, but let's see, which building do we want to punish? We're actually probably going to put some targets out here in a second. Maybe some other tanks. We'll have a little tank battle. Uh, let's see. That red building is asking for it. So we're going to switch to operation mode. Here we go. All right. Oh, yes. Works like a charm. All right, question is, can we drive over this? Uh, let's see. See how versatile the tank is. It conquers the curves. I'm worried a little bit about... Oh, here we go. Oh, cool. Okay, that works a little better than I thought it would. That is awesome, actually. Yeah, I was a little worried about those railroad pieces because I thought maybe they would interfere, but they seem to be, for the most part, out of the way. Uh, let's see, did we sustain? Yeah, we sustained a little bit of damage <laughs> crawling over that stuff. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with this. Let's go uh, pull out some targets because I feel like destroying some other tanks. So I'm going to lay a couple around and uh, we'll have a little bit of fun here. All right, we are ready to take out some targets. I do have some targets uh, kind of up and down a couple of the streets here. We've got some light tanks, uh, the Ghostbusters machine, and the Zombie Buster is across the uh, road here, so... Let's go ahead and place a shell right in the middle of that. You know, this really gives me some neat ideas for a uh, multiplayer. This would be pretty cool to have a tank battle. What the heck is it doing? I don't, I don't get it. Is it, there we go. Come on. Is it on fire? Are we just not close enough for the fire to render? Is it just, oh, there it goes. Say goodbye to the zombie buster. <laughs> oh, the joys, the joys of destroying stuff. Uh, let's go take out the, uh, Here's the Ghostbusters uh, machine over here. I wonder if our gun turret's actually too high for this. Uh, I guess we could actuate downward. Uh, let's see. Can we skim the top of you off? Oh, whoops. <laughs> That's a little bit of collateral damage there. Just ignore that. Actually, you know what? Let's try pushing it. What happens there? Uh, you know what? That actually holds up fairly well for the front end. I would like to be able to change some of the property values of the front, or at least the strength. I wish that was a thing in the game, and oh, yeah, obviously, I, I've destroyed my vehicle on a curve. Uh, that's kind of what I'm talking about. You know what? There's a tank down on the street over there. Let's see if we can hit it. Oh, that is a little too high. Hold on. Let's, uh, let's adjust again. I don't think I can really go much lower. Uh, the one bad thing, these uh, actuators are a little bit flimsy. So if you bend it in the wrong direction, it will snap it instantly. So let's try to get in position here, see if we can hit that tank. No, we are still, we're gonna be right over it every time. Let's get a little closer. Nope, still over it. Guess that doesn't change, does it? Let's <laughs> just run into it here. There we go, oh! Oh, okay, oh, hold on, we gotta back off here. We gotta back off here. <laughs> we're on fire. You know, I wonder if those extinguishers actually work. They're on the back. I used them for, uh, to kind of look like, I guess they're fuel tanks possibly back there. It seems like a weird spot for a fuel tank. And, oh, oh no, we're about to burn alive. Oh no, <laughs> stop. Uh, come on, let's see if we can uh, pick up some speed here. And, oh, oh, we're blowing tires out. Yeah, we're still working though. We're still working. There's another tank in the area and, oh, we're about to fall apart here. Well, it just hit one of those extinguishers, and that didn't do anything, so obviously, and I believe our motor is gone. <laughs> let's, uh, let's stand outside of this. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that would be a very, very bad feeling to, uh, to burn alive in a big metal box. Wow. That's impressive. I'm kind of waiting for it to explode here. Uh, did it take out the motor? Yeah, the motor's charred. All right, so a hostile RV has entered the area, possibly taking out our other tank. I'm going to blame him for the reason we blew up earlier, so let's see. You know what? We're going to be right on target here. Say goodbye to the RV. Really? 
<laughs> really? Yeah, if anybody knows of a way to make these things, uh, these actuators a little stronger, I would like to make this go down, but I'm gonna bust it. Let's get a little closer. This ought to be safe. This is perfectly fine. There we go. You know, it doesn't quite have the oomph that I thought it would. Could have swore the cannons did more damage than that. It seems like we haven't really, I mean, we're, we caught it on fire, and the uh, fire effects and brick rigs are absolutely awesome. Oh, boy. Yeah, let's take out some more buildings here and we'll check out some creations. I'm actually really, really happy with this. Now I kind of want to make some more tanks that I know I can, you know, somewhat do it. So let's just go ahead and cause as much chaos and destruction as we can here and don't get stuck on the pile of rubble. There we go. Yeah, this would be really cool. I'm going to get some guys together to see if we can get a, get a little group going here. I'd like to have some tank battles because... This game is perfect for it. This map is perfect for it. I tell you what, this thing is probably one of the best handling creations I have ever created. And it's a tank. Of all things, it's a tank. Uh, well, we have one more test, and everybody knows what this test is. To see just how durable this tank is. And, oh, right on cue, here comes the train. Hello, Mr. Train. Let's see- Whoa. What the- Where'd my tank go? Whoa, okay, the- Tank ended up way down there. And I believe it's about to get hit by the train again. What the heck? All right, I feel like we need to try that one more time because I have no clue what just happened. All right, so we get to try again one more time here. We're gonna hit it head on and here we go. Wait, what the heck? Whoa, <laughs> oh my, look at it. It's dragging my tank. Hey, let go of that. <laughs> oh, there it goes. Wow, you know what? That tank deserves a little bit of praise there. It took the train head on. The train wound up devouring it, but let's go uh let's go observe the damage real quick and see what exactly just happened because I have no clue. Uh here we are. We are at the debris field. That was a couple wheels back here. I believe the main part of the tank is this thing. I was setting Oh, actually, you know what? This is the turret? Is that what this is? Yeah, the actuators right there. Okay, well, where's the actual tank body? There's the engine. Uh, maybe this is it up here. Yeah, I believe this is it. Wow, this thing actually made it really far. That whole crash started way back there, and here comes the train again. Uh, let's see. Is this the tank body? This is like half of the tank body. There's a couple more pieces right there. Oh, yeah, this is it. Uh, the wheels used to set right there. Hey, look, an unburned block. Um, hmm. Yeah, no survivors. That was awesome, though. All right, so here's another tank. This is the LAV-25, and I say it's a tank. It's actually like a light armored vehicle, or considered one. It's like a, I think a mixture of a, kind of like a tank and a troop transport, I believe. Uh, this was made by Grouchy. This is what I used uh, for my Tiger tank as like a, a groundworks type deal, because I wasn't really comfortable. And come on, come on, train, go by. <laughs> so yeah, I wasn't really, uh, I didn't really know how to use the actuators that much. So this is what I use to figure out how the gun turret should move and how sh the gun and stuff should go up and down. So yeah, same thing here. It's got 360 degrees of rotation. The gun fire. Wow. It's like the, is it actually getting out of the barrel? Hold on. Yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah, this thing is actually pretty cool. This is a lot smaller than my tank. It's like a mini vehicle. And a lot of these brick rigs are like, or a lot of these brick rig vehicles are like this. And I've noticed that uh, over the recent episodes like everybody creates smaller size vehicles I think it's because of just how compact everything is and the character size I have nothing it wrong against it I just kind of like really beefy vehicles but there's definitely a lot of detail on this one it looks like the front four tires are what turns it whoa okay yeah I was warned about that uh, in the description he says turns over 30 kilometers an hour uh, you barely make it so gonna have to be careful there let's go ahead and destroy a couple more buildings here Come on, go down. Oh, that's probably a garage, isn't it? Okay, let's see. There we go. Nope, hitting the top of the building. Oh, there's no damage up to the roof. That's kind of a shame. So, can I not take it down this way? Come on. Uh, it looks like we're going to have to get a little bit closer here. All right, let's try this again, and... Go down. Go down. That's so strange. Why won't this build... Oh, there it goes. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Oh, oh! <laughs> wow. Well, that was disappointing. Does it still drive? Yeah, it still drives. 
Hold on, we might be able to get ourselves up. Nope, 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 yeah, we're screwed. Yeah, it's a pretty cool little vehicle, though. He's got a actually a really cool workshop full of stuff like this. So I highly suggest checking it out, and I guess I'll have to actually thank him because this is the vehicle I used to help create the Tiger Tank. Alright, so we have the Ecto-1. This is by VCR Thunder. We also destroyed his camper earlier, by the way. That was his RV. And he's got the Ghostbusters mobile. I mean, what else do you have to say about this? This is one of the coolest cars, one of the most iconic movie cars, and this was probably one of the most terrible movies that recently came out. Oh, the new Ghostbusters. I think I've complained about this before. I just didn't like it, and it's not for any particular reason. It just wasn't a good movie. I just, I don't know, maybe it's just because I grew up with the old ones. Yeah, let's just imagine this is the old ones. We've got Bill Murray in here and Dan Aykroyd. Uh, let's see. That's the thing. Ooh, this thing's got some power behind it. Oh, God. <laughs> oh. Well, there goes the beacons. Um, still drives. Still drives. Okay. Come on, come on, come on. Now, this is actually pretty good. Uh, I like what he did here. and It's amazing what some people do with parts and brick rigs. Like, he's made parts that... Wouldn't have looked any bit like the stuff that's all over the top of it, and it looks real. Now, I, for one, cannot name what's all up there, but, uh, it looks pretty awesome. Alright, well, you know what's next? We have to run this against the train. I'm pretty sure this thing's gonna get absolutely demolished. And, oh! Oh! That took a weird bounce. Oh, we're gonna get hit again! <laughs> oh, we made it over it! Oh, that was some X game stuff right there. Yeah, I totally meant to do that. Well, wow. You know what? That the heck does that mean? Wow, I guess when I get out of cars, they explode now. Huh, the game knows me good. Whoa! Alright, so that's a glitch. Well, hopefully you enjoyed this episode of Brick Rigs today here, folks. Uh, we didn't check out too many workshop creations. The uh, Tiger Tank took me a lot longer than intended, and I was having an absolute ball playing with it. But if you have anything you want to send to me, go ahead and link it down in the description or, I mean, in the uh, comment section, or you can leave a, uh, send me an email, however you want to do it. I've had quite a few people send some stuff, so I'll get around to checking that, that stuff out. But anyways, folks, remember to like and subscribe. Everything helps my channel, and we will see you guys next time on Brick Rigs.